Hello and welcome to another one of our award-winning editions of Lockdown Chewing the Cud. Back once again with the Renegade Master, bringing you information from the internet, funnies from showbiz, and another one of our amazing lockdown lessons. And here I'm going to introduce you to the man whose idea of a diet is to only eat 20 chicken nuggets from the batter inwards. It's Mike, Benny and Row. <laughs> How did you know? How did you know that I'd, I'd, I'd normally have three burgers and 20 chicken nuggets? Mm. <laughs> you look like the type that would nibble all the batter off the nugget to get down to the reconstituted chicken and then eat that, that <laughs> last. No, believe it or not, I, I eat chicken nuggets pretty much the same way I do bananas. Oh, so up your yes. bum. Yeah, <laughs> just, just <laughs> straight, just straight in. Okay, straight okay. in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. no biting, just straight in. Um, <laughs> no swallowing, no chewing. <laughs> oh no, always swallowing. Always <laughs> swallowing. Swallow. Always swallowing. Um, but I've been on the internet to find some of the juicy tidbits of fun things, including how a cat has stopped a politician from talking. Mm. And I have some celebrity news about um, a group of ladies that have been cruising, not in a toilet, on a boat. Oh, all right. Different kind of cruising then. Mm. Um, and you can keep in touch with us on all your social media platforms. Just search for The Cud TV. We've got our website, which is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to this wonderful show as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have interacted with us on our social media this week, then have a look at the screen below, just underneath my animal print bosoms, and you may see your name. <laughs> now, Lee, I was triumphant last week. Well, that, that's a matter of judgment. <laughs> yes, the crown shall be mine, um, I've decided. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another one of our... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us this week as he started training for a part-time job at the fish counter in Sainsbury's. He said he's a little nervous as he's never boned a fish before. But while he does that, let's play animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta. It's a point for each correct answer. If you correctly identify pasta, you'll get double your total. But if you misidentify pasta, you lose all of your points. I'm still slightly confused about that. There's lots of words there, but let's go for it. We have to work out whether it's animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta. Okay. And this is Turdus Maximus. Now, I think that this is a mineral. Turdus Maximus? Mm. Uh, oh, well, I wouldn't want to put that in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Mm, I'm going to go mineral. A turdy mineral. A mineral as well. Mm. Okay. So shall we... Shall we see what it is? Oh. oh, it's an animal. It's common thrush. Oh, you can get cream for that yeah. in the shop. You can you can mm. use yogurt as well. You can, yeah. yeah. Not th not, not yeah, flavoured yogurt. Yeah, OK. So, um, <laughs> well, unless you want strawberry flavoured. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> oh, so, right. So, the um, <laughs> mine, to decide whether it's an animal, vegetable, mineral or pasta, is bugger anus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that could be all. F uh, that could be all four. To be perfectly it, honest it with you, could be. Um, it could be everything. Um, yes. uh, bugger um. bugger 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 it sounds better if you say it in a, in a northern accent. Bugger proper, proper northern. Oh, bugger bugger um, Ooh, I'm gonna uh, terrible trouble with this bugger <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go vegetable. I'd like. I'd like to chew down on a bugger anus. I don't know about anybody else. Let's see. <laughs> Um, I I think it's a pasta. <laughs> you think it's a pasta? Okay, let, let us reveal what is a bugger anus. Oh, oh. It, 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 it is a beast. It is a wattle, a <laughs> wattled crane. I think I think the producers yeah. just made these up, and all the words that he thinks are funny, like in a schoolboy fashion. <laughs> yeah. It's just right. Okay, exactly. yeah, right. <laughs> Over to you, Mike. Uh, okay, so the next one is an enema pan. You have one of those, I saw, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so, is an enema pan an animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta? I'm going to go for pasta again. You're going to go for pasta. I, I think the, yeah. tr the, the trick is to say it 
in an in Italian accent if you're not sure to see if it sounds convincing as a pan. No, no, that, no, I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for mineral. I don't know why, but <laughs> just, just keep going for mineral. Yeah. Um, oh, we're right wrong again. Uh, it's a scarab beetle, so it's another beastie. Oh. Okay, right. So my okay. next one to find out which is animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta is a mandala, or mandala, mandala, mandala. Mm. Um, I'm I'm going to go pasta because that's no, I'm not. Mm. I think Are it's you not? no, no. I think <laughs> it's a vegetable. I think it's one of those like. Um, Oh, one of those big squash things oh. <laughs> that that gets turned into drums once you've eaten the the, the vegetable meat <laughs> from inside. The vegetable meat. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Um, new thing, vegetable meat. So that's a new one. Um, I'm plumping for pasta again. Okay. Shall, shall we reveal and see who's wrong? Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. you've got you're the first <laughs> one. Okay. And it. Lo- I have got points. Uh, and it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. It's like a tube. Animal, <laughs> vegetable, mineral, pasta, a peng- penguinoni. Penguin- penguinoni. I'm going to say that's pa- penguinoni. Penguinoni. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I need to apologise to anyone who is Italian, really. Yeah, it's, that is my, um, that's my, my impression of what's-his-face off that cartoon, not cartoon, that game, that children's computer game. Computer game with the thumbs. Mario. Mario. Oh, Mario. Mario. With Mario. With the thumbs. Um, Mario with the thumbs. Yeah, the thumbs. Yeah. I'm going to go with pasta because it sounds like pasta, but it's probably not. <laughs> um, I also think it's a pasta. Mm. Let us reveal what it might be. Oh. It's a mineral. <laughs> is it? Why is there a picture of a penguin next to it? So if you look, the, the chemical structure looks like oh. so the oxygen molecule is at the top. It looks like it's hair. People have got like too much time on their hands to be doing stuff like that, <laughs> don't they? Just call it what it looks like. What? It's it's geeks. It's geeks. They they love they love a, a funny name. Okay, stupid game anyway. <laughs> but yeah, well I've, well I've just lost all my points. Have you just so. lost all your points? Unlucky. Oh, point. <laughs> uh. I've lost all my point. And yeah, I never had any points, so I don't have, I have everything to lose, everything to gain, and nothing to lose. But so have I now. So ooh, it's fighting talk. Okay, so this is mafalodine. 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 If that's an animal, vegetable, mineral, or pasta. Now I'm going straight for mineral with this one. I'm going to go for mineral because it's got the Dean thing at the end, like formaldehyde that doesn't have a Dean at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that famous that formaldehyde that ends in Dean. <laughs> you keeps mean, me alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I know what I mean inside my head. So I'm going to go, okay. I'm going to go for mineral as well. <laughs> uh, should we have a look? Oh, oh it's a oh, pasta. No. That looks like, they look like chips. They look like, <laughs> crinkle crinkle cut, cut chips. chips. <laughs> oh, Mafaldine. Oh, well, if you say it in Italian, then it does make sense. Um, okay, yeah. right. Mine is um, the next one for me is heebie jeebie. Heebie jeebie. Um, th- that's a thing, isn't it? Heebie jeebies. You've given me the heebie jeebies. You've like. Yeah, yes, it's when you're slightly creeped out and weird, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. So I. Uh, yeah, Judah. I'm going to go animal because I can imagine it being like a, a like a like a creature, like an insect or a or a or a, or a lizard. Uh, yeah, I, I can see it being a, a, a tiny little insecty kind of mm. thing. So I'm going to say animal as yeah, well. Yeah, I've got the heebie jeebies. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, it's a plant. Oh, it's a plant. <laughs> Oh, I got excited for a moment. Then. <laughs> We're doing so well. We are. It's a species of Hebe, common name Veronica. <laughs> oh, why did he not put Veronica up? I yeah. could have guessed Veronica. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's have a, another go. We've got Pipe Rigetti. Mm-hmm. Or Pipe Rigate. Oh, is, now. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think that is a pasta. But yeah, but it, just, it you could say pipe regatta, pipe regatta. And that sounds like um, pasta. But uh, I think, yeah. if you say pipe rigate, that sounds like a <laughs> mineral. So I'm going to go. <laughs> pipe rigate. <laughs> um, I'm going to go mineral. Okay, shall we see? It's oh, a no. pasta. Oh, 
for God's sake. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'd... Okay, so let's have a round up of the scores. Okay. So I have one and you have none. Oh. It... So I have won again. No, you haven't won again. You've won mm. for the first time. That is... Th- no, this is the second time is I've it, won. Is it? I'm, you know, I can't keep count with all the winning yeah. that I normally do. Um, oh, well, 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 all right, okay. congratulations. <laughs> well, count the losings that you've done recently. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, coming up, we will be bringing you our next instalment of one of our lockdown lessons. And you've got just enough time to see if you can drink a beer while upside down before we have Lee and his showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to catch up with the man who believes in the truth fairy. No, no, really, he actually believes in the tooth fairy. It's Lee with the showbiz news. I do believe in the tooth fairy because it's real. Mm-hmm. That's that's the okay. only way. That's the only way I get any salary is by trading my teeth in. To the tooth fairy. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm down to like half a crown now. <laughs> as, lo- as long as it's your own teeth, not someone else's, oh. it's fine. Mm-hmm. Well, a bit dark there, yeah, didn't dark, it? Yeah, dark and awkward, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's, let's move on to some showbiz news. So, did you, in your, your youth, did you ever watch The Wonder Years? Yes, ah. I loved the Wonder Years. Well, so the Wonder Years was um, all about a family, an American family in the 1960s. There was Kevin, it was centred around Kevin, and it had like this mm-hmm. sort of like voiceover from an adult Kevin who was narrating. This is his monologue, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like massive, and everybody used to watch it. Um, but as with lots of things nowadays, they are going to reboot it. So early next year, there is going to be a reboot of the Wonder Years. But instead of a white American family, we're going to have a black mm-hmm. American family. And it's going to be set in the 60s. Cool. So very so yeah. very similar um, format. Um, but mm-hmm. um, it's, it's produced by the people that did the Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Men. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't like Two and a Half Men. It wasn't my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> you see, I absolutely loved it because if you watch like one one episode from each of the series, you can see um, Charlie's slow decline. Oh, okay. Into yeah. into the dark side of, of life. Yes, and then Ashton Kutcher arrived, and who doesn't love looking at Ashton Kutcher? Uh, mm, yeah. Um, there's going to be a pilot episode um, early next year, and and then it will, be, mm-hmm. it will be played. It'll be in America first, I would imagine, and then come over to England. Um, but I remember, Ooh. distinctly remember, from the original series of The Wonder Years, so there was there was the three there were three characters there was Kevin there was his f- best friend who was called Paul and then what was the what was the girl called what was the one that he he desperately wanted to oh. to snog was she called Wendy I can't a Wendy or Penny Penny or something, or something like yeah. that but the rumor was and it still goes on that his the the actor that played Kevin's best friend um, Paul grew mm. up to be Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, I can see that actually. Yeah, because and we've got, we've got a picture here of, of obviously somebody's mocked it up. So Kevin and um, the girl are obviously real, mm-hmm. and then they've superimposed uh, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn um, Manson. But yeah, I, 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 they both the both Marilyn Manson and the actor have have, have denied that they are the same person, <laughs> although they've <laughs> never been seen in the same room. Well, we've just had a message in from one of our viewers. Um, okay. Gwendolyn Winnie, and they called her Winnie. Oh, I do remember. The name of his girlfriend. Yeah. In the Wonder Years. I think they yeah. eventually got it on, didn't they? Be- well, not got it on, but think- they they smooched before the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was lots, lots of la 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 yeah. going on. Yeah. yeah. So that is something to look forward to next year. Something that we can watch now, mm-hmm. this very moment, Ooh. is. Um, um, so we've had Jane McDonald. And her cruising, which was massively successful um, for Channel 5. She has stopped doing it. She announced Mm. at the end of last year that she was leaving Channel 5. So all the shows that she did, so she did Jane McDonald and Friends, Cruising Mm -hmm. with Jane McDonald, Locking My Drawers with Jane McDonald, Going Shopping with Jane McDonald, (laughs) all those Jane McDonald shows. (laughs) um, Because she, she... 
she she'd done something i think she'd like done a hundred flights and um god knows how many cruises i think there was i think she'd been on every cruise in the world there was Mm. only the like the the canals of greater manchester left for her to do cruises on i bet Um, i bet she's been i bet she's cruised down a manchester canal before now I bet she's cruised down Canal Street a few times, yeah. um, but she she has she's left that so because she's going to concentrate on her music and um, her touring. Oh, cool! But replacing her not on Channel Five, mm. but on um, Quest Red, which is a freeview channel, is oh. is the are the Nolans? They have stolen oh. Jane McDonald's gig, and they have filmed a reality TV show of them. Um, going on a cruise on this huge cruise liner it's called the nolans go cruising we've got a little clip um in the background with so that it's four of the nolans so it's got colleen it's got linda um and the other two that i don't know who they're called um and marjorie they, and sarah, marjorie and, uh, <laughs> and sarah. <laughs> um so it's it's practically very similar to um mm. cruising with jay mcdonald um where they go on this huge this huge cruise liner and they stop off mm-hmm. in European destinations and they go and look around things. Um, right. But the idea is that they're going to perform at the end of this cruise um, for the first time in like, I want to say 2009 or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's on now so you can watch it. It's quite mm-hmm. bizarre to watch it, to be honest with you, because it, you literally sat there all the time waiting for Jane McDonald to kind of like yeah. knock on the door and punch one of them and say, this is my gig. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that. They don't sing. Uh, they don't sing at the end like jane did so jane mcdonald would have these really random songs Mm -hmm. that she would sing at the end that were very loosely related to wherever whatever destination Mm -hmm. and then kind of tapped on so and and this ship was built in (laughs) liverpool and then sing fairy across the mersey yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah, yeah. it's It's okay it's not cruising with jane mcdonald it's the nolans go cruising so it's quite enjoyable but you know, it, does it have it a drinking game associated? What What was the drinking game with Jane McDonald? Jane McDonald. Every time she said "That's fabulous," you took a drink, and every time she mentioned the North, you took a drink. Oh, and you'd right. be drunk okay. before the first you, adverts. It was brilliant. I would imagine you'd be absolutely <laughs> glad. Uh, I suppose you could do one. Uh, you could take a drink every time one of them mentions I'm in the mood for dancing because they do that a lot. <laughs> really? They're, so, they're big hit. That's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so that is, that is on now, so you can catch up with that. Um, and then the last bit of showbiz news is, um, and I think you will particularly enjoy this, is, is mm-hmm. all about Zac Efron and his Ooh. glow up. So oh, yes. we all remember Zac Efron from being a bit of a gawky, dorky teenager in High mm-hmm. School Musical um, and with, you know, the gap was, between was, his teeth. And, he was still a um, bit cute, though. Did you think? Yeah. Mm, he wasn't no, no, 100% convinced. So he, he, was, he, he was in High School Musical um, and mm-hmm. then he kind of he, he left and he did, you know, he started, he started to get a little bit more... How can I say? I, I want to say arousing, but that is the wrong word. <laughs> it's not the wrong he word. Got, he got more it, and know. more attractive. So when when he when you saw him in hairspray, that was a revelation yes. for me. Yeah, and they're going. And then he did. Who is he? He's a bit hot. And then yeah. it's like, oh, it's he, like Efron. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He did. Oh. He then he did. Did he do um, the Baywatch film where he was ripped? Yes, beyond oh. belief. I yeah. loved that film. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know it had a plot till was the third time I'd watched it because I watched oh, it on yeah. yeah. But he has he currently has mm-hmm. a um documentary series that's out on um streaming channels at the moment where he is going around the world looking at sustainable um sources of 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 heating and lighting. It's very oh. worthy. It's a yeah. little bit dull in my opinion. Uh, okay. However, what people are obviously are watching it for because they want to, they want, they care about the environment. They mm-hmm. also care about seeing Zac Efron with no clothes on because oh, there is a want? lot of Zac, Zac Efron with mm-hmm. no shirt on. And Ooh. some are saying he's, he's almost venturing into daddy territory. So oh, yeah. we've got, we've got a couple of pictures on. So look at that. I, at first oh, glance, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm, 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 right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just sat there thinking. I, th- I can think of a sustainable source of heat and power for him if he wants. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do you want? <laughs> do you want a tissue? Just to, uh, just to. to no, no, I'll just okay. take a sip of my drink. Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's he's had like a bear grow up. Mm. So he's 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 all hunky and bearded, and yeah, and he spends a lot of time without his top on um, in various things. Um, so yeah, the, the 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 internet has gone absolutely crazy about this mm. with 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 people commenting on social media about you know how amazing he looks and uh, uh-huh. and what have you. I, I'm I'm. I'm I've watched one of the episodes, and he's lovely. He's very pretty. He's easy mm-hmm. on the eye. He little is, little bit yeah. dull. Mm, well, I don't care dull. about. Is is that photo in Brighton? No, it's not. Is that not just off the he's pier? in some sort. No, he's in some <laughs> sort of Icelandic fjord, underwater Ooh. heated thing. Also, oh, it won't be nippy um, then. It won't be cold. No, it won't need no, a warm up. He, 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 yeah, he, he 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 makes bread. They go to some sort of lava. I'm gonna say not gonna say factory, but there's like a um, a village <laughs> a or a town that has um, <laughs> that has um, a place where the, the natural lava and they can what, bury... a volcano. <laughs> A volcano, volcano, a a literal volcano, and they can bury uh, bread (laughs) dough in the sand, and then it Mm -hmm. cooks, and then they can eat it. So they did that, uh, but he had his clothes on. Um, So, so yeah. um, By all means, get onto your social, your social media, or your um, streaming, and perv over Zac Efron's manly chest hair. (laughs) And that is the end of this week's showbiz news. So, thank you, Lee. Coming up soon. Don't forget, we've got another, yes, another lockdown lesson. You have enough time to dunk your biscuit in somebody else's brew because coming up next is Mike with the buzz. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man that's f- more than I've had hot dinners, and that's a lot of hot dinners. It's Mike Benny and Row with the buzz. <laughs> right, um, can we say f***ed on air? We can't. We can't say f***ed. Right. Okay. I'll I'll move on quite quickly then. The first thing that I found on the internet is about kids while they're away uh, in lockdown. Mm-hmm. Schools aren't open. Got to keep them entertained somehow, and they've taken over by doing dad jokes. Okay. How do you feel about dad jokes, Lee? Um, a kind of similar to the dad dancing. You know, I, I I would do the fake laugh just to kind of stop their self esteem from wrong? plummeting. Yeah. What's wrong with dad dancing? It's, it's a bit cringy. If you if you can't do you can't do this when you're popping <laughs> away. <laughs> Why, why would you bother going dancing? Don't do anything oh. if you if you yeah. <laughs> just stand there going hmm. yeah, stand there. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> kid, kids have decided to take over the mantle of dad jokes, um, and they've been going down a storm on Twitter. The first one that I've got is from Aaron Penn, and it's my daughter's told me, "Dad, come quick, the milk has gone bad." And they put googly eyes and a frowny face on the milk. <laughs> oh, I see what they did. Yeah. 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 See? <laughs> funny, yeah. funny. <laughs> see, genuine laugh there. I know a genuine laugh. <laughs> that wasn't a genuine laugh, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> that's Sam Wagner, who said, my, my daughter got me with, there's water running down the stairs. And they put bottles of water in shoes down the stairs. <laughs> oh, you see, no... See, clever, funny, it, it, and the dog looks quite impressed too. Yeah, I would just there would just be I would just go. I'm going to turn round and count to five, <laughs> and if that is not all removed by the time I turn round, you're going to be in serious trouble. I just I, I'd be I'd, I'd I'd be wholeheartedly encouraging this kind of behaviour. Would you? Yeah, it's harmless, isn't it? Who, who's going to get upset? That's about not harmless because it just stairs. takes somebody to walk out, <laughs> to walk out looking at the phone, and the, and it's just a, a hideous accident waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, health and safety gone mad! Oh, oh. yes, where there's <laughs> oh. blame, there's a claim. <laughs> there is, um, and then we've got one more of these because you're not enjoying them. Uh, which was um, <laughs> my son came and got me saying there was a serious leak under the kitchen sink. 
and they've drawn a serious face on the leak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be kind of like daddy appreciates that, um, but mm. you're not having any pocket money because you've ruined the vegetables by drawing faces on them. Now get to your well, room. You can, you can peel the skin off a leak. <laughs> well, I thought they were, they were hilarious. I, I wholeheartedly encourage every child to do more of this sort of stuff. Please, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Face swapping. Now we, we've talked about face swapping before. We have. Yeah, and how how much fun it's been during lockdown. Well, people have taken to to face swapping other things than celebrities. They started face swapping tattoos. Okay. Okay. Um, and what we've got is the finding the tattoo on the body and the face and face swapping it from there. So we have one gentleman here who's done it with his shoulder. Okay. Oh. And if you look at the art, if you look at the arm, it's quite, it's a, you know, it's a, it looks like a good tattoo. And then you see his face and go, oh, no. No, it looks wrong, doesn't it? It's, <laughs> it does um, look wrong. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if that, if the, the swapped face was a tattoo, you wouldn't be disappointed in that. That would be, um, no. that would be good ink, <laughs> as they say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the way you were almost reputable there. Like, good ink. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the face looks like something out of Insidious. It's not. It's yeah, not nice. it, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a, a very Halloweeny kind of look on that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this gentleman had one on his chest that he swapped out, mm. and it looks a little bit more like an actual face on his face rather than a tattoo face. It looks like somebody who's been embalmed and who is waiting to be viewed before they're buried. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Um, so in the chapel of rest. <laughs> yes. He had a nice life. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, what, what's made me smile more is that the tattoo is smiling on his face. But yeah. His actual but not face his on the face. tattoo is so grumpy. Yeah. In fact, if you squint, that tattoo that he swapped his face with looks like looks like Liam Gallagher out of Oasis. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it does, that's, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, our kid. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> never do that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got one more. Well, he swapped it with a, his friend's leg tattoo of the Joker. So is that is that Heath Ledger as the Joker? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's disturbing. Yeah. It is very disturbing. Yeah, but it also looks really, you know, it's it's well done. I notice there's no no of people that have got tattoos on their like butt cheeks. They've not done any of those Ooh. swaps. Um, oh no, they have. Oh, they, they have. have. You've just not shown any of those. Yes. Oh, um, there, okay. there were certain issues with hiding other bits that were also in the photo. Oh, so and of course right. we are a serious program, Lee. Right. Okay. So, you know, Hard hitting yeah. news. This. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? What? What else will this pandemic bring out next? Eh? Physically peeling <laughs> your own face off and swapping it with somebody yes. else's, <laughs> <laughs> and putting on a satsuma, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if something catches your eye on the internet, don't forget to share it with us. It's the Could TV on all your social media outlets. Ooh. Oh, speaking of which, something's just popped up in front of me. You've been looking at Zach. It's an email. <laughs> uh, well, that was something before, yeah. Um, it's an email which comes from Mrs. Belinda Mycock from Cockermouth. Oh, Belinda. Uh, and, and she writes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last night, Mr. Mycock was getting a little frisky and wanted to spend a little sexy time together. I suggested we watch some past episodes of your show to get us in the mood. Five minutes later, he was off down the pub and hasn't been seen since. I owe you one. Oh, total reverse Um, boner watching our show. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that, Mrs. Mycock. Please keep watching. (laughs) Or don't. I'll leave the choice completely up to you. And that brings us to the story of the week. Zoom calls still very much all over social media. And it makes me smile because the politicians are having to use Zoom as well. Mm. And that leaves open a whole range of things. We've got a video here of a politician who had a little bit of an issue while he was on a video conference. Very interesting from 
um, somebody called um, Henry Warren. This is John Nicholson, um, who's a, a parliamentarian, and he's um, talking about subtitles on kids' TV shows. It's quite a serious topic um, about some channels doing it, some channels not doing it, and how it should be there as a standard thing. Um, and he's, he's, he's really giving the, the journalists a good grilling about it. Mm. And then along comes... And there goes, whoop, there goes his cat's tail. Oh. <laughs> Just wafting in front of his face. Oh. Rocco, could you kill that? Oh. Right. So he, he tells the cat to put, to put his tail down, and the rest of the people in the conference are trying to keep a straight face oh. and trying to continue on, but just can't. Well. It's it. One one would have assumed that um, if you're doing something quite serious, you'd make sure that nothing in the room could could distract you. Um, for a moment, I, it looked as though he was going to grab hold of that cat, and throw it backwards behind him, <laughs> out of the way, <laughs> to kind of launch it. Like the, was the one with yeah. where there was a man in in his fight, and the children just burst through the door. Children came in, and he's yes. trying to push the children away, and then the daddy yeah. comes in and goes, "You can't Direct- see me." I'm Crouching down a little bit. It drags them out. <laughs> yeah, come on. Have some professionals. Professional standards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's what happens when you have a cat. You cannot control pussy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I know that you're a dog person and I'm a dog personally, so we wouldn't have this issue. No, but as, as as Nelly Furtado ever jumped in on a... a a meeting? <laughs> she has. Um, she's she's done it. She's done it twice. So once I was doing something on the radio. So um, it mm-hmm. involved um, me. Uh, I was doing a quiz, and I had to. I had. To, I don't think I've got it with me, but I had my chicken, and I was squeaking mm-hmm. it um, if I got an answer right. And then she she just made this horrible whining noise, and the the person at the other end <laughs> went, "What is happening?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I'm really sorry. It's my dog." Um, and then the second time, I was I was having a zoom um a a zoom session um that sounds wrong as session a zoom call yeah i was having i've had a few zoom sessions as well so i think really um we shouldn't continue on too much with that topic there Lee. no 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 she 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 came Um, in on a zoom call her face just appeared okay to the side yes yeah hello (laughs) yeah that was quite amusing yeah and that's all from the buzz this week well, thank you very much for that, Mike. I will swap my face with yours any time. Oh. Um, you've got just enough time to... No, wait. Did you leave the iron on? Are you sure you've turned it off? Um, OK. Anyway, um, coming up next, we've got our lockdown lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for the segment of the show that one critic called Part 4. It's our lockdown lesson. Lockdown Lessons. Yes, part four indeed. Now, this week, um, we're not actually going to do a lesson, so we're not going to teach people to do something, oh. because there's only so much soft fruit one can manipulate with one's fingers um, into resembling something else. I, think, I don't think you're trying hard enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're going to go We're going to go a bit old school, and we're going to try a couple of games that um, oh, okay. um, people have pl- kind of play in their, their childhood. So I, are you familiar? familiar with the term chubby bunny i am indeed aware of chubby bunny didn't you say you called it fluffy bunny chubby bunny fluffy bunny it still it still requires you to say okay. things with your mouth right so we're, we're gonna <laughs> shove things in we're gonna this is gonna be very revealing about our mouth capacity um capacity yeah okay so you you have um a selection of marshmallows um i have a selection of i do i have, I marshmallows. have pink marshmallows pink, you, just pink marshmallows you only like the pink marshmallows I only like the pink flavour. Okay. Yes. So the idea is we take it in turn to insert a marshmallow into our mouths, and you have to say the th- mouths, right, mouths, okay. um, and then you have to say one 
chubby bunny. Okay. And okay. keep doing it until somebody either vomits all over the screen. Uh-huh. Um, or there's no marshmallows or left. Death, or choke really. We're hoping we're not going to choke to death. So I have to say, I, I pop this in and say one chubby pop bunny. Pop it in your mouth. Where, whichever side, whichever cheek you would like, whichever side of your face okay. you would like. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not allowed to swallow. No, they must remain in your mouth at all times. You're not to chew okay. them or masticate them. No, no masticating. No masticating no with them. No swallowing. Let's just put them in. Just hold it in my mouth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. One chubby bunny. Oh. And it's in. There you okay. Go. That mm. Looks like you've got a bit of an abscess at the moment. So I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to place. Yeah. I'm going to place a pink one in. Uh, I'll. One chubby bunny. Okay. There we go. This is thrilling television. Um, it is. <laughs> this is very good if you're learning to count yes. as well, people. So. Mm. Second, Second one. one. Two chubby bunny. <laughs> Two, oh, Same. okay. Right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a white one now. So, are you chewing? No, it's just, it's just inside of my cheek there. Okay. <laughs> Two chubby bunnies. <laughs> there we go. I'm going. Uh... <laughs> Three chubby bunnies. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's it as they're in your mouth. It feels slightly mm-hmm. unpleasant. Okay, so I'm. T- it does, yeah. I think I've got a very small mouth. <laughs> Three chubby bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it nearly went. Four chubby bunnies. How can you still... How can you still say words? Properly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Four chubby bunnies. Okay. I think I'm going to be sick. Five chubby bunnies. (laughs) Five chubby bunnies. <laughs> Six chubby bunnies. Six chubby bunnies. Who's chewing? Who's chewing? Who's chewing? Who's <laughs> oh. oh, you have won. Oh, there are some people that are very aroused right now watching this. I'm just removing them. I can talk, I do like the show. Like oh. So shall we find how? Shall we find out how many? Uh, I'm literally sticky with marshmallow juice from from my mouth. Um, it's exciting, isn't it? Shall we go and see how, how how many did Mike get in his face hole, and how many did I get in my face hole? Uh, so I got nine. I think I only because I kept going. You were taking too long, and you got you went to seven. Mm, seven before my gag reflex um, kicked in. Do you, do you have any gag reflex left at all now, Mike? Um, no. No. You could literally have keep pounding those bad boys inside there for a considerable I, I amount of time. Kept, you've seen me eat a banana. Yeah, okay. Well, let's... It just, just all goes let's in. Mo- let's move on to jelly beans, okay? So we all know that you can get jelly beans in different flavours. So we have... Mm. This is called Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. And okay. um, what you do is you you take a jelly bean and it could be mm-hmm. something nice 
or it could be something not okay. particularly nice. Okay, so if you just hold up to the camera um, so that we can see what it is. So you have got, is it a black jelly bean? Okay, so that could bean. either be a licorice jelly bean or skunk Ooh. spray. Okay. Do you want to risk tasting it? I, I'll, I'll put it out in my mouth. What? That's not licorice. Oh, what does it? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> does, <laughs> does, does that taste nice? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you've had worse in your mouth, oh, haven't no. you, than that? I, no, I haven't, really, I haven't. <laughs> That's all kinds of oh, wrong. Oh, so you, you've just eaten skunk spray from its bottom. Okay, oh. right. I'm just going to pick around. I'm not looking at because if I looked, I wouldn't. Right, so I've got a yellow one. So a yellow one is either, um, oh, buttered popcorn. Oh, lovely. Buttered popcorn mm. or rotten egg. Or rotten egg. Oh, yeah. holy. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> Buttered popcorn. Oh, yay! <laughs> Would you like to have a? <laughs> you like to have another go, so, Mike? Yes, I will go for a brown one. Little brown. A brown one. Okay. Brown one. So that is either chocolate pudding Ooh, or lovely mm, or lovely. canned dog food. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Both are tasty. Mm. Pop it in. <laughs> is is that is that pudding? <laughs> or is it poundy? No, it is. It's, it's pudding. pudding! Oh it's chocolate pudding! You didn't <laughs> Hurrah. You didn't look convinced there. You didn't you mm. didn't look convinced there. It took a while to get going. It took a while is to get going, food? but it's definitely chocolate is it pudding. pudding. Okay, right. Um mm -hmm. I, I let's do one more. One more each. Okay, I have selected a white, a, a pure white jelly bean. So that is either coconut, Ooh, oh. coconut, coconut, or, or spoiled milk. Oh, coconut or spoiled milk. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was spoiled. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> you don't like coconut, then? Oh! <laughs> that! Rancid. Not good. Did you spit it out? It's over the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I think I won that one as well, then. Because <laughs> I swallowed both of mine. <laughs> oh, revolting. Well. <laughs> Thanks for that, Lee. And finally, our picture of the week comes from Mr. Tarquin Underpants from Nether Poppleton, whose husband bought him this lovely teamatic teas made for his birthday. There's nothing like waking up to something warm inside you. Not since we broke the dildos of 2000 has an object on the bedside cabinet brought so much pleasure. Has your partner given you one too? You can find us on the socials, which is the Cud TV. Our website, which is the could.tv, and while you're on the website, if you have a look at the support section, you can sign up for exclusive content, including outtakes. Ooh. We have come to the end of another episode. If you can't wait another week, then go over to our website and you can catch up on all past episodes. Stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Sticky fingers! <laughs>